Hey everyone, I'm Ish, founder of Taz. In this video, I'm going to be talking about or just walking you through uh, building an AI agent that answers questions from a knowledge source. So knowledge source could be, you know, website, PDF documentation, maybe your internal Notion docs, maybe SharePoint, Confluence, wherever your data is sitting, how can you build an AI agent that answers questions from that particular piece of knowledge. And just to set some agenda to this as to what you're going to be learning or how this um, video is going to be about. First up, I'll walk you through an actual AI agent that I've built already so that you understand uh, what the final outcome is going to be, right? So I've already built the agent. I'm just going to be walking you through how that agent works and then uh, show you the backend side of things as to how uh, all of it is configured and, you know, like the end-to-end -end process of it. So yeah, the, the second step is going to be, uh, you know, just how to train a knowledge base, how, to, how you know, what are the different options available, uh, what are the different loaders, as we call them, where, like, you know, website is a loader, PDF documentation is a loader, CSV files could be a loader as well. Then I'm going to walk you through the concept of tools. So we've got um, agent, which is the brain, uh, and then it has got tools, and these tools could be, you know, multiple different applications, but how do you use knowledge sources as a tool itself to answer questions, to answer questions of a, uh, of the knowledge source or the knowledge base? That's something I'm going to be talking about. And then I'm also going to be showcasing you the prompting part of the agent itself, because I feel <clears throat> prompting is, is one area which uh, sort of makes the experience for the end user really, really better if done well, right? So we'll jump right into the actual agent that I've built already. Uh, I'll walk you through that and then we'll jump into the back end side of things where I'll walk you through the TARS AI agent builder. So this is um, an AI agent that I built of our internal documentation. So this is basically our HR documentation, which is, uh, you know, in PDF documentation or maybe in Notion docs as for us and on our product knowledge as well. So let's say if any old or new team member has any question about our HR processes, leave process, insurance and, and whatnot. And they might also have questions around it. Hey, um, do we have a customer in a certain industry? Do we have a case study around it? So this serves as one source of information for any any teammate, right? So what I can do is yeah. uh, how um, can I apply it and I'm just going to ask it a question and what it's going to do at this point of time is, is it's going to retrieve that information from the knowledge it has been trained on this, a particular AI agent has been trained on. So you would see um, that, you know, to apply for a leave task, this is the process and, you know, it gives you a neatly formatted information in terms of how, how to do that. It also gives you, you know, what, what is the emergency leave, what's, what is the approval process, how to apply and all of those things, right? So this is, <clears throat> and you would see that you would also um, see that where it has, you know, the queries apply for leave and then where, where is it, uh, you know, picking up all that information from, it shows you all of that information as well. So this is, this is the final experience. So think of, um, you know, customer support automation use cases or putting a, an AI agent on your website, which can answer all of your customer or prospects questions, or it could be used by your internal team members as well, maybe for ITSM use cases or for your new employee onboarding, like all of those use cases, uh, you know, you could use an AI agent like this. So let's start off. I'll sh quickly show you the, the backend side of things as to what does the backend look like for this particular agent, right? Now, the backend is this, right? So to see this particular screen itself, you would have to just go on, uh, if, you're a, if you've never seen uh, our website before, you just have to go on hellotas.com and then just hit sign up. You would be able to, you know, uh, enter into our AI agent builder and then just hit uh, create a new agent and you would be able to see that, right? Now, what's happening in here, this is basically the canvas where, you know, you, you have to just, you can create, uh, you know, sort of automations in, in this canvas in here. What's happening at this point of time is what you see here, you can call them blocks, nodes, we call them as, as gambits. That's our terminology of how we define each, you know, step in the conversation. If I click on this, this is the first step where the conversation is basically starting off. I click on this 
and I've chosen the AI agent gambit in here. Now, at this point of time, I've given it a prompt first up, right? So I've written a very detailed prompt in terms of what this agent is supposed to be doing. And I've given it a role and a purpose saying, you know, you know, AI powered team assist for a company. Um, and I've also specified something very specifically, which is you have to um, always, you know, you're connected to multiple knowledge sources as well. I'm going to jump into that part of it. But the first step is to give a very detailed prompt in here as to what the roles and responsibilities and what the agent is supposed to be doing, right? And we, we I think, have a whole different video about prompting itself. So I can, I can uh, link that particular video in here. Then I've just selected what model I'm looking at. You know, there are a bunch of other second settings as well that you could potentially be looking at. Um, now, what's like this agent in itself dark can do nothing unless and until it has access to the knowledge sources, right? Now, how that becomes accessible to this agent is through knowledge tools or knowledge as a tool, right? So what I've done in here is if I hit this particular gambit in here, again, I've chosen AI tools from here. And from here, you can, you know, you would see a bunch of different tools available like DuckDuckGo, Firecall, which helps you, you know, crawl and scrape websites, all of those. Uh, I've chosen knowledge as a tool here, which basically makes my knowledge bases. And I'll show you um, how to train these different knowledge bases as well. But here, what I'm doing is I'm using that particular knowledge as a tool or think of tool as something that the agent would be referencing to pick up all of this information from. Right. Now, the beauty of the tool is also that you could have different knowledge sources for different kinds of information and the agent can choose depending on the question as to what tool or which knowledge source it should be picking up that information from, right? Which is super helpful because if you dump all of your knowledge in, uh, you know, all of your data in just one knowledge base, the agent would get confused and wouldn't be able to answer. So what I have done in this case is I have specified very clearly, and this is something that you can do uh, in the in the knowledge as a tool section or the gambit in here is um, you can define the title of the tool itself. So I've given HR underscore process because this particular uh, tool is about or the knowledge base that I've connected here, as you can see here. So I've, I can connect different knowledge bases in here. I've chosen all the team related and the HR related documentation here. So I define the description and the name here, and it is better to be as close or because the agent, uh, you know, when it's making a call, it, it references the title and the description of the tool to pick up, to basically decide which knowledge tool it should be using to get the answer from, right? So for instance, if I ask, uh, how can I apply for a leave? It knows that it has to reference this particular knowledge tool and not the other knowledge tool because that other knowledge tool is about product knowledge. It is not about, uh, you know, like HR processes or leave processes, right? So for instance, you can see that this is the second AI tool that I have here. And this particular tool is trained on my product information and it's not on the HR related information as such, right? Now, this is this is as simple as it could be right so all you have to do is just have an agent gambit uh define a very neat detailed prompt in terms of what it is supposed to be doing and you would be able to see now that i've defined in here as to what we are um and you know i've given it the role as well and then i've also given the fact that you're connected to multiple knowledge sources. In this case, I've just connected two knowledge tools, but I could be connecting other tools as well. And also given it the fact that always ensure you pull information from the most relevant knowledge source. Do not give answers that are not in the knowledge tool. You have to always use the knowledge tool because I don't want my agent to be hallucinating and just picking up generic information and sharing that. I want it to be always doing that. A lot of it below is like around the tone and interaction style, right? So. Uh, like I said, it's as simple as just having an agent gambit and then connecting it to this knowledge as a tool. You can actually roll up a simple agent, which is trained on your, let's say website information in a, in a few minutes itself, right? Now, what I've not shown you till now here is how does this knowledge basis that you see here, where do they come from and how do you actually train all of this information from, right? So 
now I'm going to show you the, so once you're in the dashboard, I was in the uh, one specific AI agent. Now I'm going to be showing you this particular knowledge basis in here. So I've got multiple knowledge bases in here. And as you can see uh, in here for this particular um, agent, I have used two knowledge bases. Uh, the first one is task product. And this one is basically trained on our help documentation, right? So you can see all the URLs in here. These are basically pulled up from our help documentation. And the second one I've trained is like task team and HR policies. And I've just, you know, put all the PDF documentation in here. For instance, you can even see, you know, like the documents it has been trained on as well. Right. So I can easily, you know, you can even click on it and see what the PDF content looks like as well. Um, to train a new knowledge base, you can just hit knowledge, add knowledge base here. You can select what type of information you're picking up this information from um, or what type of source of information you're picking up this information from. It could be your websites. It could be CSV files, like I said, uh, PDF documents, Zendesk, Slack, like depends on where this information is coming from. And you just have to add your website URL, click on train, and then, you know, it becomes accessible. So this is the place where you would be able to add your knowledge bases in here. So if I go in here, uh, let's say, yeah, in here, I can just add another source, which is like TAS. Okay, so let's just say, I can just add our main website link in here and I can say main website. You have got like other, you know, uh, advanced settings in here as well, but let's say I just hit save. So I do this, like you can see, this is one is already trained. Now, if I hit start training, it would also train. I just have to hit on start training and it will, this particular knowledge base would also be trained on the, uh, on the entire website URLs as well, in addition to the help doc URLs, right? So it's as simple as that. If I were to train PDF documents, I can just keep adding more PDFs in here and we'll just train the knowledge base on top of it, right? So yeah, I think, so, uh, I think I pretty much walked you through an actual agent in the first step. Then I've walked you through how to create this particular agent in itself and then uh, connecting it to different knowledge tools and, and then having knowledge bases as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this course. Uh, it's about 10 minutes long. You should be easily, you can see that, you know, it's pretty easy to create an AI agent, which is actually trained on a knowledge source. You can easily make um, your customer support on uh, maybe something that you can put up on the website, which is trained on your website information pretty easily and pretty quickly. Um, if you want to make an AI agent like this, just, you know, come to our website, um, just hit sign up and you should be able to make one. If you're an existing user, just log into your account and try out these functionalities.